Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTZ Optics. I am here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your 12X USB G1 camera. Um, if you're not sure if you have a G1 or a G2, if you look on the bottom, if it says G2, you have a G2. If it doesn't, you have a G1. So I am just going to start by opening up the 12X USB G1 firmware. And we're going to start with the USB section of this. There's two different ways to upgrade the USB. We're going to upgrade the FPGA and the USB file. We're going to do so using this USB upgrade program that comes in the file. I will say this program can be a little buggy. It will work, though. So I queried. It is connected. I'm going to do the USB first. And I'm in the 12X USB firmware. And that is my disk image file I'm going to use. So now I am going to hit upgrade. And this should take probably about a minute to complete. I do want to mention while this is going, um, there's three processes to this firmware upgrade for the USB model of the cameras. Make sure that you do not have any Windows updates that are going to go. The, the, the computer is not going to shut off. The camera is not going to shut off. You're not going to lose power, anything like that. If the firmware upgrade gets interrupted in the middle, um, you can lose functionality on the camera. And it, it can become basically a bricked camera where none of the outputs work. Um, definitely make sure that nothing's going to interrupt this process once you start it. So the USB firmware upgrade is complete. I am going to make sure I'm still connected. And now I'm going to go to the FPGA. Add file. This should be the only one available to me. It's a .bin. And now I'm going to upgrade. Again, this should take about a minute to complete. All right, my FPGA firmware upgrade is complete. So that is the two parts of the firmware that involve the USB connection. Now I am going to upgrade the part that requires the IP connection to the camera. So we can X out of this. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go to the SOC folder. In here, you will find the upgrade program. Run that. And we're going to search. Um, I already know my camera is 111.85. You're going to have to, if your camera is right out of the box, you're going to have to set its default IP address of 192.168.100.88 to be something in the range of your network that your computer is hooked up to. Um, you can see mine is 192.168.111.whatever. I am going to, first things first here, back up my camera. This does not actually, that's a fail. Okay. Um, this does not actually do any backing up of the information on the camera. It backs up some of the information of a very specific chip on the camera that once we upgrade the firmware could have corrupted data. We're going to just restore it from the backup to make sure everything is good. It's just part of the firmware process. So I've backed up. Next thing I'm going to do is upgrade. I want to change this to MTD. I want to query to make sure I have a connection. I do. I want to open the file. I should be in the 12X USB G1 firmware, and this should be the only disk image file I have available to me. And I'm going to upgrade. During this process, it should shoot up to 85% um, very quickly, and then it'll sit for a few minutes. Um, 
probably four or five. And during that process, the camera will reboot twice. This is, um, if it doesn't reboot, it could be bad. Um, it should reboot twice, at which point the firmware upgrade should say complete, at which point um, the firmware upgrade would be totally done. We would just have to go back it up and uh, we'd be good to go. I do want to mention the firmware upgrade here will wipe every setting on your camera, the IP address, any settings you've made in the on-screen display, all will be wiped. So make sure to remember the IP address that you have your camera set to. So it will need to be set to that again to do the backup. My camera just rebooted for the first time. My camera is now rebooting for the second time, and this should be close to complete. All right, there we go. So now my camera should have defaulted back to 192.168.100.10. Although, honestly, I think I have to power cycle the camera. So if you go through this process and you hit that point and you're not seeing it in your upgrade tool, make sure to power cycle your camera. Obviously, once it has said upgrade success, don't do it in the middle. There it is. So now I'm going to reset my IP address back to 11.85 and my gateway to match. Every time you set the IP address, it will reboot, so give it time. Now it's back to 8.5. I'm going to go to backup and I'm going to restore. This again will cause the camera to reboot. And there you go. You should have the newest firmware up upgrade on your camera. Everything should be working. I will say the last thing to um, to do will be use your IR remote control. Let 
make sure your camera is responding to the remote control. There it is. And press star pound one. This will revert the on-screen display back to English, which is important. Now I'm just going to test my camera feed real quick in VLC. And there is my PTZ Aptics camera feed. I reset the firmware. So I have it mounted in my ceiling, so it's uh, it's showing us upside down because it got rid of the vertical flip setting. But that's okay. The camera is working and everything looks good. So that is how to upgrade the the firmware of your 12x USB G1 camera. If you guys have any issues, get in touch with us here at PTZOptics.com. I hope this has been helpful, and I will catch you guys next time.